I didn't want to leave you guys hanging, so doing this one for the kind of Larson. Who the heck would have thought that uh, <laughs> the moment we confirmed this was one of uh, Larson's uh, downfalls or uh, championship hitting overs for the much more preferred term. <sighs> My bad. He finally, finally, finally acquires his long-awaited victory at Homestead, one of his most dominant tracks by far, by absolute fucking far. This was one of his better fucking tracks. This is basically, for a while, the Chicagoland. Basically, the Chicagoland to Jimmy Johnson, to his Jimmy Johnson, or the his Jimmy Johnson to Chicago land where he would just dominate, dominate, dominate up a storm has the wind in command has it in plain sight until some stupid shit fucks him over time and time again but hey he pulled through this time and wouldn't you know my buddy Alex Hoover as well as our buddy uh, Brian LaFlair Jr. finally got to see Kyle Larson win <laughs> Congrats to both of you. You got it. You finally got what you deserve. And with you guys uh, getting the fortune to see Kyle Larson win a race in not one of his better seasons, hopefully that's a sign of good luck for myself and my buddy Lane to come at Phoenix for the second championship. And hopefully, hopefully, it won't be a Mickey Mouse championship this time. <laughs> Sorry, but... 2020 without any reasonable doubt will always serve as a Mickey Mouse championship because do I really even need to go on a tirade about the playoff format again and why it's so much of a massive cog in the system again it's self-explanatory at this rate because well NASCAR doesn't give a shit if Chase Elliott wins or not it's all sports entertainment like WWE. I'm not saying they're scripted, but NASCAR will manipulate any race they desire as long as it's exciting for the fruitless standards of our redneck fans. Not the easygoing rednecks, no. Ah, who am I kidding? Go Kyle Larson, go Hendrick Motorsports. Finally, finally, Kyle Larson pulls another victory. And finally, he prevents this one from being a 2011 Jimmy Johnson-esque season. At least to win count, anyways. <laughs> 